outcome in Iowa. News 8's Megan know he has more in tonight's Your Voice, Your Vote coverage. Please help me welcome the next president, Marco Rubio. Packed in shoulder to shoulder, Quad City voters listened as Marco Rubio promised a fresh you. perspective. You can't grow your economy if you have a debt crisis. Ask Greece. Ask Puerto Rico. Ask Illinois. Ask states that are... <laughs> you can't. Since the second GOP debate, the senator from Florida has surged in the polls. The latest average from Real Clear Politics has him essentially tied with his state's former governor, Jeb Bush. It's not your turn. You have to wait. Again, I didn't know there was a line. Wait for what? For more of the same? Thursday, the first-generation American also sought to clarify his immigration stance, saying the U.S. needs to first get illegal immigration under control and modernize the current system before dealing with undocumented immigrants already living in the country. I think people will be very reasonable about what you do with someone who's been here 20 years, who learns English and pays a fine and starts paying taxes and, 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 and is willing to stay with a work permit for at least 10 years and that sort of thing. It's Rubio supporters we talked with say his family background will be enough to win them over. Not just somebody who was born of wealth and came into his uh, current position because he was wealthy or famous or anything like that. He, he epitomizes, in my view, uh, the American dream. He believes in what he's saying, and he knows what he's saying. So he's, he's a fabulous candidate. And Rubio hopes that momentum so is just beginning to build. Thank you, and God bless you. In Davenport, Megan Noe, WQAD News 8. Two new polls.